Okay, guys, more evidence that this James Will guy is just totally full of it. So let's look. What, let's watch a, a quick clip here from his uh, debate with Chris Kresser, where he's talking about how early man supposedly was getting uh, their B12 needs met by eating dirty vegetables. Okay, let's 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 look at this little clip here. Uh, the vegetables, uh, were, were, the vegetables were eaten without being carefully washed. Thus, strict vegetarians who do not practice hand washing or vegetable cleaning may be untroubled by vitamin B12 deficiency. Okay, he is reading and taking a quote from this study I have behind me. It's called Vitamin B12 Plant Sources Requirements and Assay done by Victor Herbert, MDJD, and this is done in 1988. And so when we actually read the paper, and we'll, we'll talk about the quote he used. And so basically it says, in one, of the less well, in one of the less appetizing but more brilliant experiments in the field of vitamin B12 metabolism in the 1950s, Sheila Callender in England delineated that the human colon bacteria make large amounts of vitamin B12. Although the bacteria vitamin B12 is not absorbed through the colon, it is active for humans. Calendar studied vegan volunteers who had vitamin B12 deficiency disease characterized by megaloblastic anemia. She collected 24-hour stools, made water extracts of them, and fed the extracts to the patients, thereby curing their vitamin B12 deficiency. Okay? So they're eating shit. And so this is, you remember what James said. He said something, the vegetables were eaten without being carefully washed and the amount of retained vitamin B12 from the, from the uh, soil was adequate to prevent vitamin B12 deficiency. If you actually were to read the whole statement in that paper, it would go like this. Uh, the fact that stool vitamin B12 can be important in human vitamin B12 economy was delineated by James Halstead, working with Iranian vegans who did not get vitamin B12 deficiency. It was difficult to understand why these people who were strict vegetarians, vegans, for religious reasons, did not get vitamin B12 deficiency. Halston went to Iran and found that they grew their vegetables in night soil, human manure. The vegetables were eaten without being carefully watched, and the amount of retained B12 from the manure-rich soil was adequate to prevent B12 deficiency. Thus, strict vegetarians who do not practice through hand washing or vegetable cleaning may be untroubled by vitamin B12 deficiency. And so James is saying that as long as ancient man was eating human shit, you know, and they weren't planting, remember, they weren't planting crops 50,000 years ago. They just, most of them just they take a shit and eat it like a monkey, like a gorilla, right? They these gorillas that engage in coprophagia. You know, may, you know, you know they're, if they're in India or somewhere eating filthy water that cattle have shit in, you know, maybe that's where they're getting their, their, their vitamin D, or vitamin B12, rather. But to suggest that that was a normal course of action for human beings when there wasn't domesticated uh, cows shitting in streams all over the place, there weren't human shitting in streams, people weren't eating their own shit. Uh, that's not how you, you know, you get it. The bacteria that generate B12 in cattle are in their rumen, and in primates and other rear gut fermentators are in their colon. And so unless you're eating basically shit, you're going to get B12 deficient. So if he's, if he's suggesting that people were just eating, you know, manure to get their B12, I would say that's probably unlikely. Um, I find steak very appealing. I don't find shit very appealing to eat. Maybe, uh, maybe vegans do. I don't know. So anyway... Guy is completely full of it. He doesn't even read the whole quote. You know, this is how deceptive he is. All right, guys, have a good day.